Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Randy Rifle. How are you today, Randy? I'm great, thank you. Randy, I've been enjoying doing a lot of research on Chesapeake Gold here this afternoon, and it looks to me like you have one of the best projects in the world. Can you give us a bit of an overview? Uh, yes, Chesapeake uh, owns uh, the, the Metates Project in uh, western Mexico, and it has one of the largest reserves in the world for gold, silver, and zinc. Well, further to this, the Matadis project has a substantial amount of gold, and the gold is really, is that what drew you to this project? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, you're on the board of directors for Gold Corps, and you have a substantial history. Why would you want to get back into the exploration game? It's uh, frontier, and I like to uh, be on the edge, and uh, working with discoveries that become world-class projects uh, never gets uh, boring. Well, according to what I've read, you do have one of the greatest discoveries. You've got a N143101. You've drilled a lot of holes. You've got $30 million in the bank. Where are you going to take it from here? We're busy de-risking Matantes. Uh, we're not a miner. We're an exploration uh, development company, and we're taking the project to a point where we think uh, someone uh, will decide to buy it and uh, put it into production. Of course, your production timeline is for 2018. Are you on track for that? We're trying, but that will be driven largely by metal prices. And because of your experience, talk to me about metal prices. Randy, where are we right now in 2015? What do you anticipate for gold and silver? I'd love to know your opinion. Well, I call we're in a foggy bottom. <clears throat> People say, what's a foggy bottom? I think we're close, but we can't see it. And I think we're going to see fairly uh, level prices for, th for the metals over the next uh, year. And then I think we'll hopefully see a trend uh, uh, rising hi higher from there. Uh, we happen to really like zinc prices, our audience does. What do you think about zinc? I like the fact that we have a lot of zinc in Matantes. It was the best performing metal in 2014, and I think the future uh, uh, supply uh, demand for zinc is very positive for the zinc price. And of course, you're, you're in Mexico. Can you tell me why you, you selected that area? We have been in Mexico for over 20 years and it's been very kind. We made a big discovery there in the 90s, which we sold and has been an operating mine for the past 10 years. Uh, we know how to do business there. Uh, we like the people, and they're very supportive of the industry uh, and the projects that we have. And the drilling results you put out this week, can you talk to us a little bit about them? The exploration results that we put out in today's uh, news release um, are properties that are quite close to where we perceive uh, the process plant for the Matates project. So they're very meaningful of uh, location and uh, as a pipeline for future development of the Matates project at large. And what do we anticipate for shareholders, say, in the next two quarters? Uh, an updated pre-feasibility study is scheduled to come out in uh, uh, late, uh, late March, uh, April, and uh, I think that will show that this project can start as a smaller mine and build into a world class. Well, Randy, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure.